Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. It is me, it is I. Um, uh, as you can see from the title of this video, it says let's talk. Because I need to talk, okay? Um, um, firstly, thank you to everybody who has subscribed to the channel. Thank you to everybody who has joined this channel and the community and the love that we have created around this space. and. I really, really appreciate it. My channel is one of the platforms that makes me so incredibly happy. So, so incredibly happy. I enjoy filming. I enjoy recording. I enjoy just being out there and communicating and sharing who I am and sharing what I've learned over the years, sharing my experiences and, and, and just sharing me on this channel. And I really, really love the warm reception that you guys have given me. And I really do want to take this time to appreciate each and every single one of you. If I could give you all a hug, a kiss, a mm, just mm, to thank you for everything that you have done for this channel and said and your comments and your subscriptions and all of that. I really, really do uh, want to appreciate that and appreciate you. Now, I know that sounds like it's like a start that's about to go downhill. Like, why is she appreciating us? What's coming? Oh my God, is she gonna, oh, oh. It's nothing like that. <laughs> the reason why I'm filming this video is purely because I have been getting quite a few messages, more specifically on my Instagram, about, you know, where are you? You know, we don't see you snap much anymore. You're not doing the Insta lives anymore. You're hardly posting up content and all of that. Um, and I want to address that today and I want to give you some sort of, not an explanation, but some sort of indication as to why I've been a little bit held back in terms of my social media for a little bit. I mean, if you just follow me on YouTube, you will know that I've, you won't really see much of a difference. You'll just see that I've been putting up content. That's pretty much it. But if you followed me a lot on Instagram, you'll know that over the last couple of months, my content has sort of, my snaps and my Insta lives has sort of declined quite a bit. Uh, I will put up pictures and I will put up, um, you know, reminders of when I'm dropping a video and all of that kind of stuff that I'm very diligent in and I do that but I haven't really come on to Instagram to actually have a chat with you guys or have an Insta Live. And there is a reason behind that. Um, there are reasons behind that. It's been a rough couple of months. <laughs> okay. uh, but things seem to be shaping up a little bit. In the last, let me say three weeks-ish or so, things have been shaping up a little bit and I'm starting to feel a little bit more myself. And I wanted to um, come on here to have a little chat with you guys about what's been going on. Shall we get into it? Without beating about the bush, there has been a lot of things that have been going on. Um, uh, one of the biggest, most major, major things is that my anxiety did take a complete sharp rise. Um, I haven't been feeling the greatest. And because I haven't been feeling the greatest, I've been struggling to sleep. I'm really, really struggling with being productive. There's so much that I want to do. There's so much that I have to do, feel like I have to do, that uh, my anxiety just shot out the roof. And I've been struggling. Uh, if you, not if you follow me online, it's mostly people who have direct access to me who will know that I've really been struggling to sleep and I haven't really slept for maybe uh, the past two months or so. Like I've barely been getting any sleep. I've been sleeping maybe three, two, three hours an evening. And it's been really, really tough, except for the evenings where I've like really been bushed, like I've been physically bushed that I would sleep. But most nights I don't sleep. And it is probably because of the fact that my anxiety has taken such a sharp rise um, based on everything else that's been going on in my life. Um, I've been going through a period where I've been feeling quite overwhelmed, um, overwhelmed with the amount of work that I have to do, overwhelmed with wanting to feel present for the people that are around me, but not really being able to achieve that to the best of my ability. Uh, feeling overwhelmed with just not being me, like knowing that I'm not me, like something is missing. 
um, I've been struggling with that for the longest time now. And because of that, my anxiety took a sharp rise and I didn't quite know how to deal with it. I know that, um, <laughs> I know that there are responses to how I normally react when my anxiety takes a sharp rise. And I know that I need to sleep and I know how to cope with it. I've got coping mechanisms that I have learned over the years that make things a little bit easier for me. Uh, this time around, they didn't work, <laughs> okay? Nothing worked. One of the biggest coping mechanisms that helps me out when my anxiety is on 1000 is to sleep. And I haven't been sleeping, so you can imagine the paradox, okay? It just, those things don't gel together. So because I haven't been sleeping, um, I've been on edge quite a lot and I've been quite irritable um, and snappy uh, fortunately because I don't see that many people because of COVID and what have you I've locked myself in my home for quite some time I don't see my friends as often as I normally would so fortunately because of that I'm not snapping at others I'm actually just snapping at myself and I'm being irritable with myself um, Coupled with that is the opposite reaction where I just feel lazy and I feel um, like I don't want to be productive. There will be those days where I feel extremely productive, where I feel like I woke up, I'm in a good space, I'm in a good mood today, I am going to work and I am going to push as much as I can. And then there have been these days, more often than not, then there have been these days where I'm just lazy. I just couldn't be bothered. I don't want to do any work. I don't want to be productive. For me, that is one of the hardest things to go through because I pride myself on being productive. If you follow this channel quite a bit, you will know how productivity is a huge part of my life. So because I can't be productive and all I want to do is just sit and laze around, it's been really, really difficult for me to find a groove. And because there's so many conflicting emotions within me and conflicting things that I'm having to go through, it's very, very hard to find some sense of stability. So on top of that, it was just not only that, it's just the trying anyway, the trying to be better, the trying to do better, but failing really. And um, not being the best version of myself as I can be. Trust Katla. I, 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 somebody wrote on a comment and said you should have merchandise that says the sun is coming in and out of the clouds because a lot of the time when I'm filming that's exactly what happens like now because I, I'm seeing myself in the viewfinder and I see the change like now the change in gradient and the sun has been fine until the moment I decided to sit down. It's hey. been really really tricky very very tricky uh there's been just stuff with work and there's been stuff with family and there's just been a lot and i'm not the type to sit here and talk about my issues i'm not going to do that i'm not going to start today however i do want to give you an indication of what has been going on hence my just pull back and my withdrawal from social media a little bit um, I don't tweet as often as I used to. I don't um, do Insta snaps and Insta lives as often as I used to. I keep putting up snaps saying that, hey, I feel like doing a live today or tomorrow. Um, should I do one? And most of the responses are like, yes, yes, do a live. We want to see one. And the following day I wake up feeling I don't want to do a live. And then I don't do it. And then of course, there is the feeling bad. And then of course, there is the feeling bad about how I touched on this yesterday. And I said that I want to do a live and then I'm not doing it. So it's been a little bit tricky dealing with all those waves of emotion. Um, and then not only with that, there's been work and there's been family and um, just a constant feeling of being overwhelmed that has been really, 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 really difficult for me. And I'm trying my level best to keep my composure in this video because it's not, it's not the easiest thing to talk about. For me, speaking about my weaknesses outwardly, 
um, out loud and to so many people, to 15,400 people at this time, at the time of this recording, <laughs> at the time of this recording. Um, it's hard for me to speak about my weaknesses because these are my weaknesses. Um, it didn't quite help much that about a month and say maybe three, four weeks, maybe just under two months ago, I went through a breakup and that was hard for me as well. So it's that whole adjusting to a completely different lifestyle, right? I mean, your life centers around your family, centers around your work, centers around your partner, for me at the time, centered around my partner. And um, that being a, a part of my life that just went away really quite suddenly was a very difficult adjustment for me to make. And that was hard for me and I could not for the life of me bring myself to, I was in disbelief about it and I was just struggling to adjust to the new norm of what my life has become. Not so it was not only that, coupled with the family stuff, coupled with the work stresses and just coupled with content creating and the need to always want to be busy. Uh, one thing that I discovered around the time that I did the video about being more intentional, the vlog, about being more intentional about your feelings and acknowledging them and being aware of them, I discovered that one of the things that I do really, really well is distract myself from how I'm really feeling. So I will do anything in my power not to acknowledge how I'm feeling. So I will watch Netflix, I will record content, I will do anything to keep me busy, I will plan, I will be out, I will whatever to keep me from actually being in the moment and actually acknowledging how I feel at the time. And because of that, um, everything just sort of compounded and bombarded on top of me. Everything just became this really heavy weight that I had to carry. And the worst part is that I felt like I had to carry it alone and I didn't necessarily uh, know who I was going to, who was going to help me get through it. Um, there's always been somebody to help me. There's always been a friend or there's always been a family member or there's always been a partner or there's always been there's always been somebody in my life who I can actually just offload some of the junk that I've got going on. And this time around, the only difference was I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to repeat what I normally um, did. I didn't want to repeat what I normally do which is offloading onto a friend, onto a family member, onto a partner, whatever. I wanted to deal with it myself and I wanted to go through it myself. That opened another can of worms. Like, seriously, Pandora's box, anybody, you know? It opened another can of worms because I had to be in full acknowledgement of how I am feeling. I had to be in full, just, Oh man, I had to understand the, the, the gravity of what I had just done. The, the whole intention to want to get through all these things by myself without getting any assistance. And I did this deliberately. I'm not saying that getting assistance from others is wrong. I mean, that's one of the things that they'll teach you in therapy. That your support structure is very, very important. I, this time around, didn't want to lean on that. I wanted to go through it um, alone and then, and then, only after some time, involve my family in it and involve my friends in it. Um, so for a, for a very long time, it, it just became quite difficult. I didn't want to be on social media. Didn't care for it. Didn't. Right now, the passion is slowly coming back a little bit, uh, even though I do have a, blockages here and there where I'm just like, okay, I do want to film today, but what do I film? Um, and that kind of stuff. So the passion for it is coming back little by little right now. 
but um, it's not all the way back there yet. And I feel like that is happening because I'm finding parts of myself again. Parts of myself that I had actually lost a long time ago. Not a few months ago. Not, I don't know, man. I don't know how long ago I'd lost them, you know. Um, being an empath and being the person that I am, I always put the emotions of others before my own. I do that all the time. I sacrifice so much of myself uh, for the sake of making other people happy. I don't like to disappoint other people. I don't like to make people upset. I don't like to just put someone in a very conflicting situation, position or whatever. I will always, always put myself aside and attend to um, the person in question. And for the first time, acknowledging and being intentional with how I am and who I am at this present time was really, really hard because I had to put myself first. I had to say, I don't feel like speaking to my friends. I had to say, I am going through a breakup. This is hard without me wanting to explain it to anyone. You know, I had to tell myself that it is okay, you know, and, um, and put myself first. It, it happened. <laughs> I tried, I tried, and I can't quite say I'm there yet, but I'm getting there. I'm getting, and I hide it very well. I'm very good with not showing anything. I'm very, very good. I've got a brilliant poker face. Um, even though with, I do, I cannot pretend, but I've got a very good poker face when it comes to completely blocking out how I really feel at the time. And people would think that I am the happiest I've ever been but I haven't been for a really long time. Um, and I think I started, I, if I remember correctly, when these feelings started was probably around September-ish, October-ish last year, when things went, when things really started changing. Um, and a big part of me just brushed it over to the side and ignored it and whatever, but, um, if I sit down and I think about and I collect and I think about when my mood started shifting, it really did start shifting sometime towards the last quarter of last year. And doesn't really help much that we're living through a pandemic. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so already it is just a complete shit show. Complete shit show. Nevertheless, there were also the responsibilities that I had. I had responsibilities to this channel. These are my responsibilities. And it's not like anybody was pushing me to put up content, but this, I was pushing myself to put up content. And not only that, there's Her Story Global, which is the business that I'll be launching within the first quarter of this year. I had to push myself. It's been really, really difficult, especially recently, because I don't want to work, but at the same time, I feel like I gotta. I feel like I have a responsibility to myself and to others to, um, you know, do good and be good and be better. And so I've, I've been going through all of that. And for the fear of making this video too long, it's about 22, I can't see my mic is in the way. It's about two, 22 minutes long. I, I didn't, I felt like rather just withdraw, hold back a little bit, but I knew that I would be sitting down and having this conversation. Um, where I'm at now, <laughs> let's just say I'm smiling again, which is nice. It's nice to actually smile from the core of my being and my soul. It really, it really is good. Uh, I'm crying much less. I actually can't remember the, the, the last time I cried. So that's good. Um, and I'm just, I'm tapping into parts of myself that I'd forgotten existed. And it feels good. It feels good. Because of that, some things have taken a backseat. Like I read much slower now and, <laughs> and all of that. But I have been living my life and they have found... Uh, many reasons to smile again. 
Um, there have been many people who have made me smile again. <laughs> and it's, it's good. It's good. And I feel like I'm getting to the points and the place uh, that I have also missed. So, to conclude this video, I want to thank you guys a lot for just uh, being there and the channel still growing even when I was going through a really, really, really tough time. Um, but I am back. <laughs> okay? <laughs> I am a little bit more happier and I am a little bit more lighter. Um, there's, there's many, many reasons why that is happening. So, but I'm, I'm, I'm really, really in a good place. Um, I will be starting my therapy soon again because I need to, I need to talk things out. Um, but yeah, I wanted to thank you guys for just being patient with me. The ones who did realize that something was off. I want to thank you guys for being patient with me. My content will come back slowly, slowly. And, uh, if you are, I did this video for you at home who's watching this and you're going through a really tough time struggling with anxiety or depression or whatever it is that you may be struggling from. Um, you know, be aware of yourself. Be aware of the emotions that you're going through. Um, and if you need to get some help, get it. It is very, very important. Therapy is very important. There's counseling. You can get counseling. You can get the stuff for free. All you need to do is just find out how. Um, I will link some places down below where you can make some calls and you can talk to people. Um, if you would like to talk to me, you know, my DMs are always open. Um, but stay strong, take care of yourself and stay strong. One of the things that you can do best for yourself if you're going through a difficult time is to try and take care of yourself as much as you can. Um, yeah, what I've been through in the last couple of months hasn't, does make me feel less than, it does make me feel like what the fuck is wrong with me? I know that I'm a fantastic human being and I don't need anyone to uh, help me see that. I see that in myself. And I hope that if you are watching this and you're doubting yourself, I hope that you see that in you too. Um, I'm going to film two very fun videos after this one. So my day is going to go up, 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 get better and better and better. And um, I hope you guys are good. I'm back. Uh, I will definitely be doing a video on Her Story Global, where we're going to talk about her story. Um, if you want to check out her story and you, haven't, you don't know what her story is, I'll put the Instagram page up here so you can see it and check it out and give it a follow because there will be a lot of content with regards to her story coming. There's a podcast coming. There's a, a website that will be launching soon. So there's a lot of things coming. Um, I'm just taking my time to get to back to the full groove of things. But thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much for subscribing. Um, also click that bell to know when I subscribe next. And um, I mean, to know when I <laughs> upload next. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. But just know I'm good. I'm very, very good. <laughs> Especially lately. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.